In this video, we are going to be looking at some of the most ridiculous, the most disturbing, and the most awful toys based on horror characters. I'm talking Jason Voorhees, Freddy Krueger, Michael Myers, Pennywise, Chucky, and many more. This is Monstrosity! Probably not for kids. I'm Griff Robodanger. I'm Skeletronico. And I'm Tyracula. And this is Monstrosity. Horror movies are awesome, and toys are fun. Smash them together, you get horror toys. Companies like NECA, Mezco, Funko, and many others have been putting out amazing horror toys and collectibles for years. But the toys we're looking at in this video, let's just say something went wrong. Sometimes terribly wrong. Skeletronico scoured the internet looking for horror toys being sold where something was not quite right. Cheap knockoffs, ridiculous bootlegs, weird designs, terrible paint jobs, confusing choices. There's a lot of weird crap out there, and we're gonna make fun of it. You guys ready? Oh, it's playtime, motherfucker. Oh god, what the hell happened to his neck? Okay, I've seen Robert England in person and this is not accurate. If that's what Freddy looked like when he was alive, it's no wonder they set him on fire. Hooray! Cool. I always wanted to know what Funko Pops would look like if they were painted by a bunch of drunk preschoolers. Jason apparently just won the Masters Golf Tournament. Freddy looks like a melted Muppet. Leatherface's chainsaw is a sword now. Didn't we just see this somewhere? So this is a pretty terrible bootleg of the NECA epic scale Jason. Wow, his axe needs some Viagra. He also comes with a butter knife? Hold on, they gave him hair? He looks like he used one of those cans of spray on hair from the 90s. Just spray GLH on and it instantly covers your bald spot. I've been getting harassing for being bald and I'm only a young man, but the babes are back. Yay! So now we have Michael Myers with a big gold machine gun. Maybe he was tired of Loomis always shooting his ass. And he has a shiny gold belt because fuck it, I guess. Ew! The bluest eyes, the devil's eyes. Apparently he goes to the same chiropractor as Robert England. Oh, at least he can do Michael Myers' signature splits. This one has a speaker on its back. Okay, it says, the sound that is emitting is that of a terrifying laugh, worthy of the character. A terrifying laugh. Worthy of Michael Myers. What the hell are you talking about? <laughs> yeah. So we have Jason with a chainsaw and Leatherface without a chainsaw. Oh, Pennywise got lazy with the makeup and just dunked his whole head into a bucket of paint to save time. It's a me, Chucky O. Chucky's face is melting into his hair. Make Freddy's face look burnt. Got it, boss. These are apparently Mac haters. Okay, hold on, what do we got here? We have Sonic the Hedgehog, Among Us, Peppa Pig, Paw Patrol, Toy Story, and whatever the hell this is. Wait, are Peppa Pig and Saw in the same cinematic universe now? Do you want to play the game? <laughs> oh no! It's a trap! They made a series two of these. Okay, how does Ghostface still look so bad? They literally had two colors to work with, and they still messed it up. He looks like he's made out of black licorice. Remake Pennywise with a giant grape lollipop. Did Annabelle pee all over herself? Tiffany from Bride of Chucky, who's... Apparently so bad at putting on eyeshadow, she got it on her nose and her boobs. Maybe she was motorboating herself. Michael Myers with a tiny chainsaw. Maybe he's got a side hustle doing garden work. And he's also apparently wearing one of those foam neck collars that people wear when they're suing someone for whiplash and they want to play up the injury. 
I mean, he did fall out of a second story window. Ah! What the hell is happening here? This is marketed as a Freddy vs. Jason figure. They understand those were two different characters, right? Ah, uh, Freddy thought he beat Jason, but apparently he only beat Roy Burns. Oh, his back is on fire. That's a cool feature, I guess. Happy birthday! Uh, sorry New Line Cinema, but you can't sue us because this is Freddy Krueger. Extra you, totally different character. And he wears a totally different sweater, so... Well, shit. Yay! Oh, it's a Siren Head Groot mashup. Is this a meme I don't know about? Okay, now they slapped a Siren Head on a Rocket Raccoon figure. A Thor Siren Head. Okay, then. Who the hell is running this company? Sid from Toy Story? Do people buy these? This is limited. Audition. Skeletronico, how much do these figures cost with their original heads? The Thor can be found for $19. The Siren Head version is $51. The Groot and Rocket come in a two-pack that can be found for $17. Siren Head Rocket is $40. Siren Head Groot is $56. So you can take a figure that's less than $20 and probably bootlegged already, and slap a Siren Head on it and sell it for over $50. What am I even doing with my life? Tired of all those conventional horror toys? Here at Robo Danger Toys, we've got you covered! Ever watch the movie Die Hard and wonder, what if Michael Myers was the guy trapped in Nakatomi Plaza? Well, think no more with our new John McClane Halloween figure, Evil Dies Hard Tonight! yippee ki -yay, Michael Myers! Hans Gruber's goons will be crapping their pants when they run into this guy, and it could be yours for only 1200 bucks. Celebrate Friday to group teeth with this unique collectible. Jason lurks the woods, now he is wood, and he could be yours for only 4,000 euros. When paranormal investigators Ed and Lorraine Warren investigated the haunted horrors of Stark Tower, they discovered... Ironabelle. A set of superhero armor, possessed by an ancient demon. This beauty can be yours for only 1,000 Bitcoin. Pennywise rocking that supermodel pose. Barbie supermodel? Not anymore. If your kid asks for a Barbie this Christmas, surprise him with this superior fashion doll. Maybe not. Okay, maybe don't do that hand gesture. Ah! Ah, oh my god. What the hell happened to you? This was definitely the last thing this person saw before they died. Hey guys, I appreciate all the hard work you've been doing on this Chucky doll, but... Do you think you could do something about the hair? Nope. You're definitely getting colder. <sighs> you know what? It's fine. We'll just say Chucky scalped his old body or something. So first of all, who is this stupid baby? It's not Glenn. Second, Chucky looks like a blow-up doll with teeth? Not a popular feature. And then you got Tiffany. Oh, that's supposed to be Tiffany? I thought it was supposed to be some angry Karen asking to speak to the manager. Okay, it's a Chucky 4-pack. Two of them have light. Why? And why only two? Wait, that's the lighting? Recommended minimum age, five months. Five months. Okay, you recommend that I give this to a five-month-old with these tiny accessories. You gotta be f***ing kidding me. And here they are again. Is this one made of guacamole? Yeah. Character. Chucky pretty face? Oh, it's so beautiful. Ah! Here's a John Kramer saw bootleg that appears on several eBay sites. 
Oh man, I put the trap on myself! Is that a Star Wars blaster? Here's another variation. Um, what? So that's just a dog chain, right? Damn it! Why do I keep doing this? What? Groovy. Yeah. Oh, hey there, Jason Vu here's. Honestly, I'm out of jokes at this point. Skeletron Uncle, can you just cut to something? Is this a... Jason Vu here's figure? Looks like it costs less than a dollar. Thank you for watching, and if you want to see more videos like this, hit that subscribe button. And until next time, later danger seekers.